Yo, what's up guys, it's Rage. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the co-op that is going to be in the new game, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which is scheduled to release November 4th, 2014. Now, for you guys that don't know, they only recently announced that they are confirming that there is going to be a co-op mode, but they did not go into details. There are rumors and speculations saying that it's going to be a Castle Defender or Horde Mode type game mode. And for you guys that don't know what Horde Mode is, it's basically a Castle Defender type mode where you try to survive against endless wave of enemies, whether it's zombies like in Treyarch where we see the zombies, or if it's Extinction like we see in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now this is one of those where Call of Duty Ghosts kind of had this, it's a Horde Mode, but it's a little bit different. There's actually an objective you got to complete, and you can actually complete the entire thing and end the mode. With Zombies, it was more of a traditional Horde mode or Castle Defender where all you have to do is try to survive for as long as you could. So with this being said, it pretty much confirms that Sledgehammer does need to have a co-op mode. I did make a video back saying that they needed to have something good that would attract people. One of the reasons that Treyarch is so successful in terms of their DLC and also keeping people interested in the game is the fact that they not only have the campaign, they don't not only have the multiplayer, but they also have this co-op mode that is pretty much zombies and DLC sells a lot just because of the fact that zombie maps are included in it. Now, Call of Duty Ghost does release Extinction maps along with it, but I don't think Extinction is a big seller of DLC just like Zombies is. Extinction doesn't really have that pulling power or that buying power kind of like zombies so I feel that Sledgehammer kind of took notice of what happened with Call of Duty Ghost they probably saw that it wasn't as successful Extinction is successful but it's not quite on the level of what zombies can do and they already have the blueprint they already have the blueprint of what's successful and that's zombies now this doesn't mean that they're gonna have zombies in their own game that's something that comes unique to Treyarch games now big opportunity for them to kind of branch out do their own thing it's set in a futuristic time 2054 this means that they could do so many things, they're in the future, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. They got these mech suits that they can put on, or they got these exoskeletons that they can put on. So this could lead to something really cool, like cyborgs being in the future, they got these hovercrafts and stuff, so obviously there's a big advancement in technology. Who knows, we saw that cyborg zombies that we saw a while ago that is in Call of Duty Online. Maybe that's something similar to what we can see in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now with that being said, that's the quick information we had. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will have a co-op. No big details on what it is. We're probably going to see more towards the release of the game. Uh, hopefully there is leaked info. If there is any, I will of course make videos, let you guys know, keep you guys up to date with all this Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news. But with that said, let me know these some comments down below. What would you want to see? Would a cyborg kind of zombie one be something that would be appealing to you? And do you think they should follow the blueprints of Call of Duty Zombies or follow what Extinction did? I wish they would do a mix of both have an endless wave mode but also have a mode where you can complete the story we'll see until then you know we just kind of have to give on the information that we have up until then but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did remember to slap a like and a favorite on the video and it gets the video out there for more people to enjoy and it just kind of helps me see that you guys are enjoying the video and also if you guys are new and you enjoy this kind of content including call of duty advanced warfare news and info along with titanfall battlefield and a ton of call of duty ghost content then make sure to subscribe i do upload daily so sub up so you won't miss a single video i am on my way to 100k subs so any support you guys can give me would be much appreciated with that being said guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment and subscribe and until next time guys the mixers i'm out peace